So you have finished Google UX design course, great. Even if you haven't, this video will still be useful to you and to every other designers that are planning to join this field. So now, after finishing this course, you are wondering what to do next. Depends on person to person and where you are in your design journey. If you are an experienced designer or have worked on some real project, then maybe your next step would be to look for a job that you want or maybe to start a business and land clients. But if you are completely new to this field, like me, I have finance background and I have no idea about designing. So if you are someone like me, then I don't think so. It's the right thing to start looking for a job immediately after finishing this course. Because your imaginary case studies are not enough and it doesn't matter to employers. And another thing is that this course talks a lot about research process and how to understand your users. But it doesn't talk much about UI, which is very important in this field. Even if you want to be UX researcher or writer in the long term, you still have to know about designing. But how will you know what your user wants if you don't know anything about design? Or how are you going to evaluate your projects or know that your users are getting what they want? So even if you are not actually working on designs, it is still important to know. So how are you going to know it? Practicing. So yeah, so your next step should be to improve your UI design skills. And you don't have to pay anything for this one. There are so many designers on YouTube that are teaching you how to improve your design skills. You can just follow that and start practicing. You can start with 70 challenges, then go to 40 day challenges, and then one challenge. After that, it will become a habit. Doing this will also help you to know why some design fails and it is also going to help you set up your own design system and speed up your design process. Great. So start working on your UI design skills. You can get some inspiration from Pinterest or Behance or Dribbble, whichever platform you like. Or you can join Crown, which is free platform and they give you weekly design challenges. So you can work on that too or simply redesign existing app which you cannot use in your portfolio because that will be copyrighted. Another thing to keep in mind, everything in this field is changing. So keep yourself updated about the changes that are happening and use those things in your design because updated designs are going to work in your favor. Great. Now you are working on your UI design skills. The next most important step is to work on your social media presence because networking is very, very important in this field. Connecting with designers are not only going to help you improve your design skills, research your skills, it is also going to help you land your first real project. Designers helping designers. You may even end up working with some of them. So it's important that you maintain your social media platforms, keep it simple, professional, clean and updated. And remember to keep your profile picture same on all of your social media platforms so that people can find you easily. There are so many social media platforms and you can be on all of them if you want and if you have time. But there are a few important ones like LinkedIn for professional networking and also to get a job or internship. Another platforms uh, like Behance and Drupal are great for publishing your designs and getting feedback and also getting inspiration. And then Medium. Medium is my favorite because it has a lot of US design resources and if you are not ready to build your portfolio website yet, you can publish your case studies here and get feedbacks too. So now you're working on your UI design skills and your social media platforms are ready. The next most important thing to work on is your portfolio. Please know that portfolio is not just about case studies, it is your personal brand. So just don't you know, add your case studies and leave it like that because you have to stand out in the crowd and people want to know who you are as a designer. You don't have to worry about uh, coding your web website. You can use uh, website builders like Pix or Squarespace. You can use templates, but customize it. Make it interesting. I'll be talking about portfolio in my next video, which hopefully I'll be uploading next week. And finally, work on your communication as well. This should not be after completing this course. This should be your priority from the day you started thinking about joining UX design field. Because as a designer, you'll be talking a lot, and which is really scary part for an introvert like me but I'm working on it hopefully one day it won't be scary as much as it is now okay so about getting a real project I know it's challenging because we have a lot of competition here but keep practicing improve your design skills and post it on your social media platforms get feedback 
connect and you will get the real project to work on. You can also start looking for internships on LinkedIn because they don't have too much of requirement and they're looking for junior designers like us. So you can even find your real projects that way. You can reach out to job poster, don't be creepy, stay professional, introduce yourself and let them know that you're interested in the project and if they would like to work with you. And don't give up, it's going to take time. If you're working full time and transitioning to this field, it will take time, you'll get a lot of rejections. It's okay. It's okay to be sad, but don't give up. So keep looking, keep working, keep networking, and you'll get where you want to be. So yeah, that's it. These are the few important things that I wanted you to know. I hope this was useful. That's it for this video. See you in my next slide.